hey y'all welcome back to the channel um here to give you guys another reading yeah so i'm always gonna hop right into it i feel like somebody here is dealing with some form of like addiction this is somebody for some of you um it could be a lover could be like an ex for some of you guys this is like a family member or someone it's somebody that you know i do feel like this person is actually hiding this addiction this person does not want you to know that they are dealing with this um it almost makes me want to cry if i'm being honest because i don't know for some of y'all this could be somebody closer to you than you think um i feel like if you knew who this was some of y'all already know but it's like somebody's dealing with an addiction of some sort it could be anything i'm hearing but they're actually ashamed of this addiction i'm sorry y'all if i do start crying i'm sorry but it's just because i can feel i feel like i'm feeling this i don't know if this is person's energy or like y'all's energy um i, I it's an energy of mis distrust between the two of y'all or something like that or like you could be like wondering why somebody's coming off so sketchy or like damn can i not trust this person that's like they're coming up a little like you could feel like damn it's like i feel like their energy is a little like sketchy or like off or like what's going on with this person why they're like acting the way this person is like because somehow they could be like on drugs or something it's like somebody has an addiction or like it could be like a anything could be an addiction somebody could be addicted to like sex or like it's something that would cause them to be like ashamed of though and i feel like they it causes them to possibly like hide their real the real selves or feelings or it's, it's somebody i mean hey i do feel somebody could even want to tell you about this addiction but it would take a lot of like they feel like they would have to like humble themselves or because it could have been for some of you somebody who like they sat on like a high horse for some of y'all they could have acted like nothing affects them or they don't deal with nothing or they feel like it's like almost like an energy of having to come to you to humble themselves or something for some of y'all your intuition has been telling you something is going on with this person like you don't know quite what it is and i'm hearing like i can't quite put my finger on it but you know something is up like i'm here like you know like some ain't right, like something is off, like what the fuck is gotten into this person is what I'm hearing, but you don't quite know what, but your intuition has been telling you that something is off. And you could have felt like, okay, they were being deceptive or they were, and in a way they are because they're not really being honest about what it is, but it's more so because it's like they're ashamed or it's like, it's a lot of, I'm hearing like something about hidden skeletons or like they don't, they don't, it's something about, it's causing mistrust because again they're hiding this addiction for some of you it could be like drugs a sex addiction somebody could be addicted to a certain like lifestyle it's something that they hide somebody could be like addicting to like dating apps or porn like somebody could, anything could be an addiction and i do feel like this is something again something that they're ashamed of um somebody could be having like an addiction to like you know picking at their skin it's just something here where anything could be an addiction i just want to just kind of like let that be known so that you don't really just be thinking like oh they're on drugs like i mean because they could be but and again i feel that it's heavy on like your intuition has been telling you like okay something is going on with this person but you couldn't maybe you didn't know again but it's something you need to listen to your intuition is what i'm getting because like, you're not wrong you're gonna find out for some of you that you weren't wrong about whatever it was that your intuition was was telling you about this person for some of you i'm getting like this is not a bad person i'm not getting this is somebody that's like oh they are her backstabbing you or like um backdooring you i'm not getting that i'm getting like for some of y'all i mean they could have done that due to it, like an addiction that they were trying to like feed or like damn it's given like you know when people like betray their loved ones or like steal from their loved ones to kind of like enable an addiction or something like that like i don't know like and you but it's something here about like either someone trying to heal or master this energy of also i'm hearing the mistrust between the two of you this could be like a relationship that you have with someone whether it's a family member a lover or a loved one and it's like they could know that there's an energy of mistrust here and that they want to like balance they want to heal this um they could want your trust again um but again especially um yeah this card wasn't even supposed to be turned this way with tough so i feel like somebody could feel like um something about tough love you could give this person tough love or like they could really respect like the the love or like you that you give them because they know that it's real coming from you or but i'm definitely getting like this person has been trying to like master like again maybe uh dealing with an addiction for some of you guys for, again for others of you um i do get that again you could just show this person like tough love or something like that you could feel like you need to love this person from a distance while they grow or learn or heal yeah, we got distraction and inattention. So you could already know, like I'm telling y'all, for some of you guys, you could know that like somebody's been distracted lately or they haven't been acting the same or that it seems like their attention has been elsewhere. Or they kind of jumpy or jitter. It's like somebody, if they, they, I mean, somebody could have like a addiction to like porn or something. It's something here where I, like, your intuition has been kind of telling you like something's off about somebody. Like their attention not the same or where it used to be. It's like somebody has been like, you could be talking to somebody, you could tell they're giving you half answers or they're not really listening. And it's like, somebody, it's, it's little things that I'm feeling like it's pulling someone in on the fact that like, 
somebody is hiding something which is like something that they're addicted to um I do feel like for some of you guys, you were actually being pulled towards a new path. Is actually what I'm getting. Um, and for some of you, you were reluctant to choose a new path because you possibly were holding on to this person or holding on to a situation where maybe you were like trying to see the potential or change in someone. But I'm feeling like you were reluctant to go towards a new path. For some of y'all, you were resisting this new beginning. Um, and for others of you, it was like this person was doing this. It was resisting like a collaboration with you or going on down this path with you that was in alignment or would have been very healing for them because they were in this energy of low vibration or like addictions. And they, they didn't allow themselves to either open up or be vulnerable because they were, again, like ashamed or like they had problems with like humility. For some of y'all, it was like an ego thing. For some of you, they are going to like want forgiveness. We got forgiveness and love here. Um, this person does love you, I'm getting. Like there is love, but they're going to want forgiveness. But this person is battling some, t some tough addictions for some of you guys somebody could be addicted to like drinking it's anything could be an addiction and i'm just getting like um like gambling could be an addiction like something was like to the point where it was affecting the union because we got fusion and union and i'm getting like for some of y'all this could have been the past and like now somebody could be wanting to like come back around or i was getting though for some of you you're being pushed onto a new path so uh it could have to do with love or, or like a new cycle if you are wanting this person where you were waiting on them to like get their shit together um but i do see love coming in as like a new somebody could like to drink tea i heard jasmine tea um hibiscus tea um somebody really likes tea and something about a union that's coming in with love forgiveness and union about somebody um yeah you could have felt like so in the past somebody really wasn't reliable like if you call on this person you could just feel like damn like i know that they're not really gonna come through or and again it could have been because of like their own like toxic selfish ways or addictive ways where they they, they didn't have enough to give you because they were feeding other addictions in their life or i'm getting for some of you guys this is why source was telling you possibly just forgive this person let go and just release them with love because they can't even help themselves right now or like you know in the way that you would need them to help you so i'm feeling like um you could need to just show this person like kindness and love but it's something about you 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 standing in your power yeah i feel like you are of high like morals and like consciousness or something like that somebody could work with like Toph, the egyptian god um you're very powerful just understand that ooh. Yeah, just understand that something about somebody's um reproductive system is significant or the womb space or your uterus. Somebody could be feeling like pulling on their uterus with temperance. Could be a Sagittarius. Somebody could be like trying to hide the fact that um something has affected them more than it is is what i'm hearing somebody could be trying to balance their energy with this uh somebody something about the outside somebody could be trying to look cool calm and collected but like it's a lot going on beneath the surface is what i'm getting um it could be this person is what i'm hearing so yeah we got irresponsibility like somebody's very irresponsible you could see somebody somebody feels like you view them as being very irresponsible is what i'm getting I feel like you guys are wanting somebody that's thoughtful the same way that you are, that's loving the same way that you are, that's mindful the same way that you are. And this is who you're going to be coming into. Or listen, this is who you're going to be coming into a goddamn union with because now we got reliability. But right here we had irresponsibility. Like somebody's not, somebody's very irresponsible or somebody like they, they, they can't come through. Like you could call. I feel like you, if you had a couple people to call, if it was a life or death, you, you wouldn't call this person first or like, uh, I don't know. They would have, it's like, this is not a reliable person to call. You know what I'm saying? What is that called? The reliable narrator in the story. Like, this would not be a reliable narrator. This is somebody who would have to second guess. Like, are they telling the truth? Or, like, because this is somebody that could be, like, they could be, like, a shapeshifter type of energy. Or they could lie a lot. Again, it's, like, but it's due to, like, some form of, like, addictions or something. Some of you guys, you're going to be meeting somebody that's very reliable. This person was not reliable. They weren't thoughtful. I'm not seeing that it was in a malicious way. Again, they just, this was someone who was in a very, like, low vibrational energy for some of you. They couldn't give you what you were looking for or, like, Again, it was like maybe uh, you were wanting more emotion or tenderness or thoughtfulness out of a situation. And that's, I'm hearing it's all I got. They could only give you what they got. And that's all they had. Instinct. So you want somebody who is, it's their instinct to be like kind and loving and thoughtful. This person has to think about it. They have to think long and hard. Like, oh shit, maybe I should, uh, you know what I'm saying? But it's the thought that counts I'm hearing. But like you want somebody who's like, that's just their instincts. I'm hearing so that I know that you're a good person at heart. You're not just doing this for me. You're not just doing this for show. For some of you guys, you could have felt like somebody was just doing something for like show or like, or like to save face or like again like and then when it really came down to it you started realizing like they were actually irresponsible they're not who you thought they were or something like that that they had other things about them that they were hiding
for some of you guys that was i'm picking up on that um and it could have just your eyes were like opened to someone that i do feel like um maybe you didn't fully see the truth about this person at first or but again your intuition was telling you and i feel like it's something about your energy that this person fell in love with or that they they really like to be in around your energy you could be very wise too like this person likes to listen to you like things that you would say the advice like this could have been somebody that really you were helping them at one point but again i do feel like source is kind of dragging someone away or somebody's name could be sharing instability like i don't know somebody could be even re reaching some form of like because of their own ways like they have to go through like some type of like instability or like harm or something like that for some of you guys um i heard it's something about some type of trauma that somebody went through as to why they have this addiction to this divine masculine something like it is this masculine they could have had like a, a lot of trauma from the past i ain't gonna lie this person is hoping that one day y'all can be together for those of you who are in separation with this person or you feel like you know maybe right now it needs to be like a break i do feel like it's something about this person's traumas being stuck in their deed that they're they need to heal because they got a lot of traumas that's kind of still i heard it's uh overriding a lot you know it's overriding like the good parts of them or like the parts that are supposed to be in alignment with you or like healing or like seeing the light like a lot of their darkness is overriding that it's giving like a frankenstein energy on here i don't know somebody like i don't know somebody could like science something about halloween could be significant a shift could be coming in on halloween i feel like i heard something about pills somebody could like take pills shocking so something could be very shocking um you, you could find something out about this situation but i do feel someone could have been afraid to tell you like what they were dealing with or like um something that they struggle with I, for some due to fear of thinking that you would judge them but i don't feel like you would you would want this person just like to heal or get help for some of you guys but it's something about like um that is that their ego could be like you know so a lot of people who deal with addictions don't think they need help so that could be significant for someone like this person could feel like i don't you know shit help the bear but i don't know with divine feminine so somebody yeah they know that you're their divine feminine or they view you as a divine feminine um you bring this person peace is what i'm hearing you're in a very yin energy and this person is i, I heard this is somebody who could even be like depressed i almost felt like that y'all i'm telling you when i first started channeling i'm all the dimmer telling myself in my head you bet not you bet not like you could share a past life with this person. This could be like why things feel so strong between you and this person. You could feel like you were supposed to be on a certain like path with this person. But it's like they could have fell deeper into some form of like addictions or like darker energies or a past like path. And something about this person, they dealt with a lot of sorrow and grief. Like this person, I mean, for some of you, this could be the divine feminine um, dealing with like addictions. And you could be her divine masculine watching. But for others of you, this could be like the divine masculine going through this. But I do feel like somebody's in the energy of like sorrow. They've, they've dealt with a lot of loss and grief in their life. Again, it says depression on this card. Like I said, like somebody could even be depressed. I felt that um, this person is depleted. Like I feel like it's somebody who's going through this. They're very exhausted on a soul level. They're very drained. They feel like they've gone through a long journey. For those of you, I feel like, yeah, you you, you know that this person is kind of like you. You picked up on this person's energy or like... But you don't know to the extent of what this person is dealing with. I'm definitely feeling like, yeah, with past life and peace. This is why this person, like, they never wanted to, like, lose you for some of you guys. Because you bring them so much peace because you spent past lives together. And they felt that with only you. They felt like a certain familiarity. But it's like, for some of you, this, they couldn't, like, pick themselves up. Or, like, they couldn't, like, heal from this, like, whatever. The past or, like, these past, like, traumas that they, they were trying to. For some of you, this is why they said, like, one day they hope that you guys could be together somewhere, someday, another time. It says here, I'm hearing a... The next lifetime by Erica Badu. Yes, I see you next lifetime. So somebody feels like maybe they 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 can't pick themselves. Well, wow, we're releasing. Somebody could be releasing this with love. You or them, because it's almost giving the energy like somebody's exhausted. You could be depleted from this relationship or holding on to someone, waiting for them to change. Or especially if like you know somebody's dealing with something that you can't help them with. You could just need to like love them from a distance with releasing and finality here. For some of y'all, you're being told to like release this person. I'm not gonna lie for some of y'all they you did this already and they're obsessed with you they're definitely obsessed with you um and it's because they feel like you are someone that they, you were with them in a the past life like you were supposed to be with them but for some of you you are being given like a new person or a new union a new contract because this person is like they are not they haven't been growing they haven't been doing the work or something or they 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 let their like traumas kind of like hold them back so for some of you you couldn't be let it's like you couldn't hold on to this 
you have a certain path to be on and then source is like kind of pushing you and i get that you many of you didn't want to let this person go i heard that it was like a battle it's like you were resisting it you were reluctant to let this person go um because i feel like it, it was love there it was love it was genuine love but for some of you you were me whether it was a family member or a lover or whatever you are being guided to like i'm not saying you gotta like not talk to them but it's like source is telling you like to release something to like let move on walk away let go something so that you can move towards something else this could have been an attachment they could have had like third party somebody could have been addicted to third parties shit shit and it's like something was like could have been hurting you more than it was like benefiting you to the point where again your intuition was telling you like it's about that time baby it's about that time okay you can love somebody but listen yeah. somebody this could be their karma too things that they're dealing with or things it's like somebody could have karma that they need to pay off that you don't need to be attached to this person you gotta let them deal with what they deal with and maybe at a later time y'all can see if this meant to rekindle that flame but right now for some of y'all you're being told to walk away let it go because this person could feel like they're broken somebody could feel like they're on, on the inside this person has went through a lot of dark shit i'm getting like somebody could feel like they're already broken like this is somebody who could be very pessimistic where you're trying to see the light in life you're trying to move forward and you're 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 like hopeful you're remaining hopeful about and it's like this could be somebody who y'all are yeah with divine masculine and loyalty coming out and damn near wanted to come out in reverse or for some of you guys i ain't gonna lie this person was disloyal or they could have had issues with loyalty or because of their past but for some of you you're going to meet a divine masculine that's very loyal towards you is what i'm getting and i'm not gonna lie it's gonna have somebody else kind of bitter because it's like maybe they didn't get their shit together in enough time or like somebody could have been feeding you false hope it's, it's after you release it's this fell out on top of release with boundaries so you're going to release this person and enable boundaries something about saying no or it's going to be like somebody wakes up on like another like type of time and like you could just wake up like yeah i'm just i just i don't want to deal with this no more or like i want more for myself and it's like somebody could even be like a little bitter angry or like something about hurtful words or resentment because of the fact that you're moving on i heard like something that somebody's gonna say i heard don't take it personal because they don't mean they don't mean it i heard um don't take it personal but you ain't shit you ain't special till i made you so you better act like you know because i've been through worse than you but can't keep running away I don't need you, I don't need you, I don't need you, I don't know, I don't want you, I still want you. I don't. So somebody feel like they, I don't know, somebody can want to like make themselves believe that they don't need you or, I don't know, that's going to be y'all energy. That's by Janae Aiko. Tell me like, tell me what you say now. Tell me what you say, come again. Mm -mm. That there is no way out. Yeah. Shouldn't have never let you in Cause you got me facing Don't take this personal some of y'all could have felt like you were getting signs like before to let them go or like before you started talking to them or you could regret like I don't know but it's like I'm hearing like don't put too much kind of like energy into that I don't like resentment because you do have somebody new coming in um and this person is stressed. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I don't feel like this is a bad person. I just feel like they went through a series of bad, dark shit in their life to the point where they couldn't pull themselves out of that. They could have even fell into, like, victim mentality or, like, again, their own addictions or, like, lower vibrational energies. And it's like you're being urged to move on where somebody's going to be in this energy of, like, almost feeling like they're remaining broken and, like, obsessed with you. This could be somebody, like... 10 years from now speaking about you to their kids and their love their their grandchildren and like oh that's the person i was supposed to meet look because it's like somebody could have like they know that they're not on their shit or what they, where they need to be for you and for some of you i'm not even gonna lie sources saying you better not close your heart off because what you got a secret admirer out here or for somebody somebody that's on their way towards you um and i heard like remain receptive to receiving because this is somebody who's going to want to give you what you've been missing <laughs> and i ain't gonna lie this is somebody who for some of you has been suppressing how they feel um, but you had to let go of like I heard that that broken timeline or and it's almost like I heard for some of you you feel like you're giving up on this person but it's not that it's like you have to choose yourself now and it's like you can't expect them it's like you have to choose yourself and they have to choose themselves um because in this energy they're not even choosing you so who's choosing you is the energy I'm, I, I, damn what movie is that from that's from a movie I remember that shit but it just came I didn't I don't really recognize that that was from a movie until like after I said it like and then I don't, I'm not sure that that's how they said it verbatim, but I just remember the part about like who's choosing you. And I believe it's a movie where like she was chasing a man and he was like, this man's steady running from you. Who's choosing you? I think her friend told her that. Let me see. I, I bet you I'll find it.
What's her name? I know the actress. Or who's chasing you? She said, he said, you're chasing her. You're chasing him. He's chasing her and you're chasing him. But who's chasing you? We're gonna listen. Oh, YouTube gonna try to, they be, they be tripping on any little music you have or you show. Let me see. When you play on her, they be, oh, nope. Let's see, chasing her. They love their music on goddamn TikTok. They can't just have the scene on there. What movie was this? My best friend's wedding, I think it's called. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, that's what it's called. My best friend's wedding. I'm going to try to look up that scene. Okay, so he said, look, a question. When you kissed him, did he kiss you back? What do you mean? We were lived to live. I mean, was there anything on the other side of that kiss that leads you to believe that this chase will end happily? That this chase will end happily. That's like what? We were interrupted. Who interrupted you? Kimmy, she ruined everything. And Michael started chasing her before he could answer me. Michael's chasing her. And she was like, um, Kimmy ruined everything. And Michael started chasing her before he could answer me. But the whole time, he's in love, I believe, with us. Yes. Um, and she said, so he's chasing her and you're chasing Michael. And she said, yes. And he said, who's Same chasing you? you? Nobody. Get it? There's your so somebody, I don't know if somebody's like chasing somebody in a situation or like you could be waiting on somebody. Again, it's like, you, what are you getting out of the situation? Like you're waiting on somebody to change your, your time. You're waiting. Or you could be waiting for nothing, baby. You could be waiting forever. I'm here. Like you, you waiting on something that maybe source is trying to tell you. Like, look, you're waiting on you, the inevitable. You're prolonging the inevitable. Like you're just... Wasting your time, and I don't know. I like, just could be in an energy of where it's kind of making you seem like you're in a chase or energy energetically. Again, even if you feel like, oh, no, I just really care for this person, especially if it's like romantically, but it's like more so. I don't know. For some of you guys, it's like again, I feel like it was love. There's love, but it's almost the energy of like it could be something like you're being told to move on. Especially if there's an energy of like again, a foundation is like cracked or it's like uh, it's not stable. For some of you, listen to me. This is random. This is fell out <laughs> running. If you if he's chasing her and you chasing him, who the fuck is chasing you? I don't know. Somebody's being told here. Like you got to think about it. And um, with clouded judgment, somebody yeah, your judgment could have been clouded because maybe you love somebody or you felt like you had emotions for somebody or, but the whole time you need to think about it. What it is it that yeah? Because it could have been something that this person's secrets, mysteries, concealing was hiding from you. Who's looking out for you? Who's choosing you? Who's loving you? Who's waiting on you? Who's seeing the potential in you? Like. Wow, this person could be running away from the love that you're giving them, the healing energy, the the whatever that you're trying to give to them. And it's like they could disappear sometime. And you're like, where did this person go? And they seem so distracted and they don't seem so focused on the relationship. And this person could be hiding something from y'all that you could be like, damn, like my intuition was telling me. And again, it doesn't have to be drugs for everybody. So keep an open mind about that. And I feel like for some of you guys, your 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 judgment was clouded because you love this person or you wanted them in your life or you you saw potential. But this is somebody who could be very, they're not reliable. Your intuition was telling you that it's something off about this person or that it's something that they were hiding and they were. And for some of you, yeah, you do have somebody that's going to want to come back around for like a second chance. And what I'm hearing is because now they want to chase you. Now they want to chase you. The same person who could have been like running from the love that you were giving them or like running from the connection or like running from the healing or they could have been making it hard for like whatever. And it's like it could have been very toxic or like they could have been like a runner chaser dynamic. And now somebody wants to come in and chase you because they could feel like now they want a second chance. Now they feel like they're they they want to let you know that their clouded their judgment was clouded because of the drugs or the whatever that they were doing or the people they were chasing at the time or whatever that they were addicted to that now they feel like, oh, I see the lights. Because some of y'all, my go sugarcoated, they do feel like you're their soulmate. 
They do. But at one point, I'm not gonna lie, you could have felt like this, it's you, it was just beyond the breaking point or uh, more than what you could take. Um, again, somebody could have definitely been like sending you mixed signals. It was a lot of like blocking motions here. And I do feel like right now, this person is just hoping that one day this could come back around. Um, they do regret that they lied to you with pain here. Somebody could even be like very skinny now. It's something about somebody losing weight due to like an addiction or something. Somebody even could have caught an STD, I heard, I ain't gonna lie. Um, somebody could be afraid, again, of telling you something or like you you knowing something. Again, this person is very cautious on coming towards y'all for some of y'all, but they like really, really long for you or they really, really like, for some of y'all, they're already in your energy, but this is like they're very cautious on like telling you something that they deal with because of, of conflict they're afraid that it would start conflict like let's say somebody has a sex addiction let's say somebody has a even if, it's, if somebody just feel like you possibly either would like judge them or like you would be unhappy with like finding out that maybe somebody does have a porn addiction or that somebody does struggle with like uh having a wondering eye or like somebody shocking like somebody feels like you would genuinely like be shocked intimacy especially if like they have intimacy issues or like somebody be like out her on dating apps or like i don't know and for some of y'all like you would literally be shocked to know that like, what somebody deals with behind closed doors that they've been trying to like again it's like the energy of they're afraid of telling you though but they do want to tell you because they they feel like they're supposed to open up to you about this and for some of you they are this is why they met you they were supposed to heal with you or something like that but it's like this person could have been keeping it to themselves because they were ashamed or they weren't ready to change and then now they're just in this energy of like reminiscing or like it's kind of bittersweet they're still clinging. Yeah, a little commitment. Some of them, they haven't let you go. They, I heard I will never let you go. They feel like they're still holding on to that peace that you brought into their life, I heard. Then this is someone who they don't have a lot of peace in their life. This is why they turn to like addictions or like whatever this is. They Again, this is someone who does have a very sad past or like... They went through a lot. I'm not even trying to, like, make excuses for this person, but I feel it. The hell? Somebody could even could have grew up in, like, foster care or, like, uh, homelessness is what I'm hearing. Like, shelters and, like, there's a lot of going on that. That's another whole. But anyways, like, somebody, something about, and you guys could have had, like, a very, like, similar or, like, I don't know. It's something about, like, um somebody could feel like, it's just somebody wants to commit themselves to you. Some of you guys are going to have, like, a new commitment coming in, but I am getting, like, somebody has not let you go. Something about pearls is very significant. Somebody is very obsessed with you. Again, about bringing a commitment to you. And for some of you, it is this person. They're going to want to return. They're going to want to straighten up. I heard they're going to want to fix, like, um whatever they we're dealing with they're they're gonna want to again you see how it's like pottery on here this is like somebody could be into something that's very like healing for them or like very like transform transformative for them like they doing things now that like um like recreational i'm here like i don't know it's like somebody could be like into like pottery or something now too clarity like yeah this person could have abandoned y'all at one point or like maybe y'all had to abandon them for your own like well-being and I do see new beginnings coming in for you. This person still watches you or they're, they see the truth in you. This person wants you to know that they have like pure intentions. They want to be honest with you and try again. Um, but again, it's definitely an energy for some of you that they were hot and cold or they were indecisive at one point because of these addictions or with confession coming out in reverse. It's like this person is very hesitant on letting you know. I heard like they want to let you know, but it's something about they don't know if they should. Something about coming clean. Like they want to let you know why they've been so distracted of why their energy has kind of been all over the place. Again, they do feel like you guys are soulmates. They do want to heal with you. They do. For some of you, they they they. this is what they're wanting. But for others of you, I ain't gonna lie. You you could already be meeting somebody new or soon you will. For others of you, you are gonna choose to give this person another chance. But I do feel like there was a lot of distraction. Their energy was like elsewhere. They, their focus could have been like sidetracked onto other things like low vibrational things and like outside energies um, or just addictions. I'm not even gonna lie, but with lusting, I'm not gonna lie. That was the addiction for some of y'all. This person had like a sex addiction or like they were very like non-committal and this could have been what they were hiding. Like they were acting like, oh, I want a family. I'm a family person. I'm I'm, I'm loyal. I'm, but they weren't. Like this is somebody who could have been hiding. Like they had a very, very like bad sex addiction or this is somebody who like they see it, they want it. Like this is, I ain't going, somebody had like a really bad like, like wandering eye or something that they could have been hiding for somebody. I ain't even, they could have even had like a hidden family or like a hidden pregnancy for somebody and that could be what's the big shocking uh, for some of y'all i heard that's why source kept saying let go before it gets worse i keep hearing that now you want to know if that's for you because source kept telling somebody like it's like you can let go before shit gets really before shit hits the fan before it really like takes your 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 peace your mind your body like it's like something could steal like somebody's with twin flames i ain't gonna lie you could even be like letting somebody it's, you're going to meet somebody else is what I'm getting. For some of y'all, this could have been your own twin flame or you're going to release a twin flame to go towards a soulmate or you're releasing like maybe a soulmate to go towards a twin flame. Right, no judgment. But somebody could be releasing like a soulmate to go towards a twin flame or a twin flame to go towards a soulmate. But I feel like somebody was lusting. For some of y'all, this was your twin flame. You could have shared a lot of chemistry with them or you were about to meet your twin flame. 
I do feel like you're going to have a twin flame for some of you returning to like tell you whatever this is, like maybe to reveal something to you. For others of you, it's like you could be with a soulmate now or you're about to. I just get that um whatever it's like somebody's you're gonna be good you're gonna move on you're still gonna get love but some of y'all this person from the past that had like a lust addiction or a sex addiction or they just had problems with like being faithful this person spies on you they still watch you and this is somebody who I do feel like they want to tell you like certain things that they've gone through but it's something about lies too they can lie a lot or they have trouble telling the truth I heard this person throw shocker shot to hell like they and it, it, it's blocked by lies as well not just by you not speaking up or like you you know, it's like somebody is like they, they're still hoping that they could manifest another chance with you. And for some of y'all, I'm not sure that you would. Like, yeah, trap. somebody could have trapped this person with like a baby and you don't want no parts. Like, I'm hearing like you possibly don't want no drama or like you, whatever that came with that energy of like their addictions. Like you kind of knew that it would bring another energy in your life that you don't want. So you're choosing a new path, even though you were like reluctant or hesitant in the past to like release them. But now you're at a point where I feel like you don't even want this no more. You got so much peace now or you've, you come into an energy of so much like you have a new perspective. Like you, you've changed to where maybe, yeah, look with pride. This person, for some of y'all, this is what was keeping this person from like revealing and they would escape with like other people or like vices, drugs alcohol whatever was the addiction they would that was and their pride was like cause them to run to third parties or like and y'all i feel like source was telling you guys like it's time to heal and just move on because you could even be finding out something like maybe about like a another family that this person had or like of them being trapped in a situation that like they can't get out of that's karma now but right now source is saying keep your heart open because i do feel yeah keep your heart open um Source is, this is like, um, Source is still going to send you someone who's in alignment with you is what I'm hearing. Yeah, because you have a decision with disorder and decision. Somebody can even have a disorder that like, a, um that interferes with like their everyday life or like, like a mental disorder or like some type of disorder where like somebody can be very disorganized. I'm just getting like. Um, and you could have a decision. Somebody could even be dealing with somebody that has like a mental, like something that makes the relationship kind of like rocky or like bipolar or like somebody could have something that just like, it, it, it's like, it, it makes them very combative or combative. They could like to argue or like, like, that could be the addiction or like addicted to like arguing or like toxicity. And like somebody has a decision on like, do I want to keep dealing with this? Do I want to keep going through with this? Is this a life that I want for myself? And it's like, especially if somebody at first, like I said, somebody was trying to like see the potential, like, okay, you're going to change or okay, I can understand you deal with certain things. You have certain traumas. I'm going to try to see it through, but it's getting to a point where somebody's like, yeah, look, you're taking out your aggression and your traumas and like everything that you've been through on me and I ain't did shit to you. I feel like somebody could have been wearing a mask, like, um, but again, somebody was very like somebody could be very naggy or nagging or like very fussy like always had something to say very manipulative like somebody wanted to dominate or control you or a situation and again the source is just telling somebody like this time has come um stop being passive somebody could have been very passive at one point you could have let this person walk all over you and it's like now it's time for you to st stand your ground or stick up for yourself and this could be like kind of um surprising to this person to see that you're serious or like you're no longer like Falling for they bullshit. I heard for some of you guys, you could have been in an energy where like you were letting this person trigger you. And actually what's going to surprise them is you're flipping the script because you're getting calm on them now. You're not arguing back. You're kind of being silent. And I heard that's when you know somebody's like over it or they left like mentally or like it's like somebody could be realizing like you're not reacting the same way to like their manipulation tactics is what I'm getting. And it's because this person thought that by doing certain things, it was going to keep you stuck. It was going to keep you holding on longer because they knew that they weren't in a position to give you what you were wanting. Or again, that was just a way to keep you stuck. Like, um, oh, I can't really give you what you want right now, but at least I could keep you stuck like mentally or emotionally is what I'm getting. And that is, that's not love. So yeah, you guys are being told to like, to take action towards something else. And you will as well. It's actually what I'm getting. Um, and you could have been again, a little, um, uh, hesitant. I just feel like for something, some of y'all, you wonder why somebody is so aggressive. Hey, that's because somebody could be like on drugs or something. For some of y'all, they're dealing with, again, an addiction that it's like somebody could be losing all like rationality when they when they start like, it's like somebody gets triggered or like they get like, or they go through like a, I don't know, withdrawals or something. It's like somebody here be like, they could go through like bouts of like anger and like irritation is because they be coming down off some shit. Somebody can even like punch things or like something about aggression. Like somebody's very aggressive. Somebody can have like a tattoo on their arm. And it's like somebody could be trying to like um, balance their energy right now. Or you could be in an energy of balance. Like you're, you're trying to not to deal with anything that's stealing like your peace. 
somebody could feel like you're very arrogant because you're very beautiful too i also feel like it could be like a lover for some of you who are releasing yourself from just like a lover or like somebody could feel like you think you're better than them because of like you're trying to move forward and again it's like somebody it's, uh, i don't know Uh, you could have even been trying to get this person like advice or like look if you do this and like you can do this and grow this way or like you don't have to do it this way and you can you don't have to hold on to the past and you don't have to kind of like let that you know tear you down like somebody feel like you be thinking you better than them like who the fuck you think you is to tell me what i you ain't you ain't been in my shoes this is somebody thought this is a victim and this is why source is telling you to get out their energy because this is somebody who will only drag you down like this is somebody who's very like they could even be very arrogant they think they have all the answers but you were guided to them to help them to heal to help them not saying that you're their healer because they have to do the work themselves but this is somebody who possibly doesn't like to like listen to the advice I'm, I'm not even getting that i'm getting like they can't right now because they, the energy that they're in their addictions or their like demons are not letting them it's like they're not even in the energy to be receptive to what you have to give right now and i don't know if y'all understand that with generosity and sharing like you could be very generous you want to give to this person you want to share and they they could be rejecting everything like you could be like damn i'm giving you all i got my love my resource my and they like oh, that ain't shit to me they ain't nothing they ain't. it would never be enough this is somebody who it would never be enough because again it's given like this person is not happy within they're dealing with addictions within receptivity they can't receive what you are giving them whether it's love whether it's wisdom whether it's advice because they're not on the right vibration first of all they're not in the right energy they're not in the right intention and for some of you guys you're very sensitive this is how you know something was off with this person but you couldn't quite put your finger on it and this person could have been hurting y'all feelings for some of y'all like talking to you certain ways or like i heard it's not personal with the fussiness and uh, uh, the, i heard the aggravation the irritation the aggressiveness because i'm picking up on addiction I know addiction when I hear it. like somebody was dealing with addictions and it could have been a lot of illusions that you felt through your intuition or like sensitivity that this person was lying about something or they weren't being straight up with you and you felt it. You could feel it from like the 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 like the 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 give and take between the two of you wasn't balanced or it wasn't equal or like you know. And um, for some of y'all, it could even came off of like this person was almost like antagonizing you or like bullying you at one point. And it's because of the shit that they were dealing with in their own life. I'm hearing again, it ain't personal. This person was dealing with dark shit, and again, they started turning that hurt people, hurt people. So you were wondering why somebody all of a sudden like turned on you or seemed like they went rogue. It's because this person, they don't even know how to receive the energies that you were giving them. The, uh, the fact that you were sent as their healer into their light. Um, I heard as their light. So it's almost like this person, I heard, damn, I'm in the dark again. And you could feel like when you're not around this person, like their energy or energetically like them being sad or like, and that's sad because for some of y'all, you were supposed to like go towards like a path with this person with instability. But they're right now, this person could even be facing some type of like instability or lack this person is very impulsive and again i'm getting it's because of their addic addictions like this is somebody who don't even think before they do things they could have gotten themselves like in some type of tricky situations or uh, it's like this person could be stuck right now because of their impulsiveness or in it's some type of instability but it's sort of sitting this person down so that they can think this person needs to learn how to think through what they're feeling and like again this is someone who they've gone through their own trials and tribulations but as as we all have i'm just getting that um Yeah, this is somebody who, where is that one deck? Because I could feel, but yeah, I'm going to close out with this. But yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. This is somebody who, they would have to do some form of healing for themselves. You can't, you can't force anybody to do it. As much as you may love this person, um, it would do nothing but drain you. It would kind of cause you to almost feel like you're the unstable one where I feel like you're supposed to be in a very stable, prosperous time of your life or feeling very loved. And this person will only make you feel like you're just pouring and pouring and pouring and not being replenished with closed minded. This is somebody, again, they think they got all the answers. They don't, they're not open, lack of awareness. They're not even as aware as they think they are. They're not as conscious as they think they are. And they could be missing out on opportunities or like insight from you or someone who was sitting in their life to like help them even other people i'm here this is somebody who just don't like to listen they think they got it all like this lack of awareness flipped out that this is somebody who they're not as aware as they think that they are wounded healer and this is for some of you somebody who was meant to be on a path with you like to be a healer or like but this is somebody who's having trouble like healing their own wounds um, something about missed chances or this person could be somebody who looks back to the past a lot like damn i could have been this i could have been that i could have did this i could and then they beat themselves up rather than keep going and like actually doing something different or getting back up and trying again this is somebody who like will fail once and never try again like you know what i'm saying they need to show themselves more self-love and self-compassion but this is somebody who again they're very hard on themselves too so again that's why i said don't take it personal when this person be over there like again i mean take it personal because it's like don't let this person walk all over you just don't be like okay why well, i ain't gonna take it personal it's not you it's me no 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 
don't let this i mean i'm saying like don't think it's like oh I, i'm the issue i'm the don't take it personal on that front but like don't let nobody walk all over you again don't attack this person either because it's their demons it's their darkness it's kind of like taking the forefront right now and it's like you know what i'm saying defensive they're very i heard they're very like you see the shield they're very defensive towards you for some of you you like what did i do to like why is this person putting their guards up with me i'm the one that they should be like you know um and i do like for some of you it's because of these like addictions that they're dealing with and they don't want you to get too close to the where you can see like their flaws or things that they're dealing with that they're trying to hide i'm hearing or others of you they feel like you're you see through them they feel like you're so like you just tap in and you just know them and you would find this out anyway for some of them they feel like you already know but and they're ashamed but they're very defensive too because of like these addictions and it's causing them to be guarded i heard their demons don't want them to open up to you their demons don't want them to their demons know the potential that you have um uh, look their demons want to see you guys like i, I mean am i seeing that some of y'all it's like you guys to have trouble like enabling boundaries with this person because you care about them um which you feathered omens um self-deceit illusion secret like yeah this person was this is self-deception by trying to keep this from you or whatever they were keeping from you um i'm just getting that something about like an omen somebody could feel like something is just bound to kind of like happen or they could feel like they got, somebody could feel like they're like they got like bad luck or something like that break change i'm hearing like break every chain break every chain break every chain Break every chain. So break every chain. Break every chain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think about how the how the um, melody of the song go. I think that's the song. In the name of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. <laughs> there is power in the name of Jesus. So break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Mm -hmm. So break every chain. Mm -hmm. So some of y'all, I don't know. You got you got somebody that is in your energy. I'm not here. I mean, for some of y'all, y'all might not want to give up on this person. Is what I'm hearing. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. Cause I am getting this heavy spiritual warfare that this person is going through. Cause I know why I was feeling. Well, I don't feel like this is a bad person. Like I just feel like they are going like. I, I mean, sometimes you do, do have to let people go or they would drag you down in their own mess. But for some of you, I mean, they, they, they're, they're in a, like a road to self-sabotage and it's like you, it's only so much you can do. This person is going to have to like break some chains, something about breaking generational like chains or patterns where they're going to have to confront their own fears. I was given like Jonah in the belly of the whale. And this person could have a path that they're supposed to be on Jonah. And maybe they're rejecting it. Maybe they're not aligning with what they're... They're, gonna, they're just going to have to go through their own little trials and tribulations. Now, aren't they with this battle within? For some of them, they're going through a tough battle within where they have to save themselves. You can't save them. Don't save them. He don't want to be saved or she don't want to be saved. You're going to have to have courage and let this person go and let them face their own demons alone. And some of y'all are like, I'm scared because I don't know. Like, I don't want them to be uh, lost or I don't want them to hurt themselves. I don't want them to... Like, what? They're going to have to confront their own inner demons and break these chains. They have to release these self-limited beliefs. Because for some of you, this conflict was starting with them on this person. They feel like you were the best thing that happened to them. But there was a lot of healing that they have to do because they cannot recognize you for who you are. And again, to be open and receptive to that energy, if they don't heal themselves, they could feel like you're the best thing since sliced bread. But it's like, if you're not healing yourself, if you're not doing the work, then what are you going to do with it? What are you, how are you going to be the best you can for yourself, but also your person? Well, unmasking the truth, literally. Like somebody, they can't wear this mask any longer and pretend that nothing's wrong or that it's like, that, you know what I'm saying? It's like something here where I do feel with sacred boundaries. Yeah, some of you guys is going to take when you finally release this person, when you finally get over that fear of releasing this person. Because some of y'all, you were like enabling this person. I ain't even going to lie. And it's like... <laughs> You were like enabling them with their love, with your like, with your energy, with your like, not saying like love is wrong, but it's like you need to enable self boundaries because this person could have never fully learned the lesson for themselves or pick themselves up because they were, it's like you were a crutch for them. You were with them through the storms and you were with them through when no one else would act. It's like you, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's good because it shows you have a pure heart and pure spirit. Um, yeah, with shadow dances, like you and this person was doing like a dance back and forth of like 
but this person has to heal their own shadows um with inner balance and i do feel like eventually they will um i'm not saying this is anything that's impossible for this person if this is what they're wanting but right now for some of you you have been guided to kind of like pull back okay or start enabling boundaries sacred boundaries it says as boundaries came out twice so it's something about boundaries which is going to help this person to start seeing like i actually got to do some shit for myself I, no one's coming to save me or this person can't come through every time or they can't look control issues this could be somebody who wanted what they wanted a master who is used to getting his way he could have like mommy issues or like control issues he wants to be dominant but it's like how are you trying to leave me you can't even lead yourself on the right path you're gonna lead me to a path of destruction straight to hell you know what i'm saying so somebody here like they have to heal themselves before they could be trying to lead you anywhere was stubborn and this was a masculine for some of y'all who was very stubborn they thought that they had all the answers they thought they didn't need nobody help they knew right from wrong very arrogant for some of y'all they were arrogant as hell now maybe at one point they could have thought that shit maybe they thought that was a <laughs> man you was the one who needed their help and now they seeing like well whoop you damn do ain't this some shit i need the collective's help or i i i i need to change myself or whatever this is going on for the collective like this person is all in their thoughts and for some of you, again, it's going to take you pulling back or like releasing this for this person to realize, again, something about somebody having like anger issues. And I feel like they have anger issues for some of y'all because they feel like they can't be their authentic self. So I don't know what their authentic self looks like. But for some of them, this is this masculine. Like he he holds a lot of resentment, again, for things that have happened in the past to him. For some of y'all, he does hide like who he truly is, like a mask. I did hear for some of y'all, I don't know if somebody's on the down low, but somebody has a lot of anger. They have a lot of like resentment. And this is somebody who feels like they can't really be their authentic self. I don't know if somebody's in the closet and this causes them to have like a lot of anger because they feel like they don't know what they really want, what they really like, or like, again, like what their sexuality is. Listen, it's a mirror here. Somebody definitely could be like confused about themselves or their sexuality. That's not for everybody, but I'm definitely getting that's for somebody here. Um, somebody holds a lot of anger and resentment, again, because of things that have happened in the past. And they definitely need to heal. But it says open heart and healing union. For some of you, in order for this to happen or in order for a union to come in, somebody's going to have to heal themselves. They're going to have to unmask their own truth. And I ain't going to lie, with all this unmasking truth energy, it's given like somebody could have definitely been in the closet. This could even be what somebody's going to like open up and tell somebody that they were ashamed about. I heard for somebody, again, your divine mask is not down low. He could have been touched when he was younger or something inappropriate happened where he was confused for a while. And maybe this was causing him to have like anger or resentment. So it's something about a conversation or some type of truth that somebody is coming to look the unknown. He didn't know. Somebody didn't know. Rainbow. Somebody didn't know like what they were into or like... It's something about inner truth. I'm just going to leave it at that um, with somebody. That's not for everybody. That's not for every divine masculine, you know. And mentally, somebody was going through it like back and forth for a mental like battle with themselves where they were repressing, suppressing a lot. Again, something about the unknown where somebody's now going to be like surrendering. I heard somebody needs to like forgive themselves for something that happened in the past too. It could be this masculine. Again, it could have been causing a lot of anger, just childhood wounds that this masculine needed to heal, abuse, verbal, physical or whatever, mental, um, again, sexual um whether man woman masculine feminine and again somebody is in their thoughts they were it, it says confusion on this car y'all it says confusion so somebody is definitely was confused whether it's about their sexuality about who they really are authentically on a soul level about you about themselves again and this person because a lot of confusion that they dealt with on the inside it caused them to escape it caused them to turn to like drugs it oh god it says escapism and it says escape on this card and on here it says escapism so for some of y'all this is why they went to like drugs or like addictions sex addictions lust women men i'm hearing women and men um i don't get don't judge this person you know i'm getting like they they, they are very confused they went through a lot of like trauma and they, they do need to heal with self-reflection and i feel like this is what they're being pushed into so some of y'all this person is going to be like sat down to where they can't outrun this they're going to have to heal they're going to have to look within like okay who am i who am i what is that song when no one's in the room jesse reyes somebody needs to look up that song who am i when no one's in the room so something about like somebody could have been like deceiving themselves or others or like again it's something about who are you on a soul level and somebody's addictions could have been like taking the forefront or like controlling who they really are relentless craving like somebody's cravings be kind of like driving them like to the point where it's like maybe they don't know how to like say no or i do feel like it's some type of healing that somebody's going to need to do for this healing union 
that somebody is calling in with this healing union energy. Um, you're like a soul mirror to this person, especially if this is your twin flame. It's like uh, it says others reflect your own relationship with yourself. So it's something about the way that you love yourself. It's going to be like reflected to you in like a relationship that's coming towards you. For others of you, again, this person has been doing a lot of like reflection. They've been doing a lot of self-reflection and trying to heal these addictions and be a better person, not just for you, but themselves. But I'm definitely getting um something about like a, a relationship that's coming in. Um, this person is definitely trying to look shame and guilt. I'm not going to lie, y'all. We can go in so many different ways. We got Somebody could be shamed about whatever, their sexuality, their addictions, whatever it is. But I see a transformation coming in where I do feel like somebody's now coming to like a place of like learning to have compassion for themselves and things that they deal with without judging themselves because they understand that it doesn't define them. It doesn't define their worth, especially if that things that was out of their control and somebody's now facing their own inner demons and darkness. For some of y'all, you did not know this about this person, but you like will or you're going to get like, in, you're getting like inklings or you got like signs. I'm not sure if they're going to come straight out and tell you. I do get that for some of them, they were being urged to. For others of you, like, yeah, with this soul mirror card, I, um, I do feel like this person, for some of you, will feel comfortable enough to do that because you are there. For some, you're their person. For others of you, you're actually being guided towards somebody new. Um, So it's like, it's whatever you are wanting to, you know. It's kind of like however the cookie crumbles, whatever it is, whatever you choose to do for yourself. Um, I am getting for some of you, you are going to kind of like love this person from a distance and let them kind of figure it out um and it's like if it's meant to be it will be for others of you it's like um you're just ready for someone who reflects where you are where you are right now possibly other of you i am getting like yeah it was the energy of somebody could be possibly like confused about like what they really want or their sexuality or you know there's a lot of confusion which uh, confusion leads to a lot of resentment and anger confusion leads to a lot of things because you don't know and this is what i feel like was someone didn't it's like somebody was very confused i'll just say that and you being someone who could be very sure about yourself or sure of your past sure of who you are sure of what you want what you don't want and it's like this person could just view you as like you know it was a little uncomfortable to be around you sometimes is what i'm hearing um yeah you could be somebody that's very stable or you're walking into some stability with the moon card and the ten of pentacles here it's even like a family member for some of y'all with the emperor I mean, the Empress, you could be a mother figure or this could have been a mother figure for some of you guys. Like a mother could have been like on drugs for some of y'all or like, excuse me, like um, dealing with addictions. See, for some of you guys, you're going to be walking into a very stable time in your life. So if someone couldn't get it together, I just feel like, I mean, I don't get that it's any bad blood. I feel like you could just release this person with love with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. For others of you, if you choose to wait on this person, because I do feel like it was a genuine love between the two of you. That could be what you're choosing to do. We have the, the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So for some of you, it's like you're moving forward. Um, you're taking your power. Yeah, some of y'all could be meeting new, meeting new friends. We got Heavy Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Energy, Heavy Taurus. Um, you could be uh, something about uh, somebody wanting to reach out to you or talk to you. Ace of Cups, King of Wands. You got like a fire sign that wants to like reveal their love to you. All right, I don't know. Some of y'all got this King of Wands is gonna come in. Um, what's going on with these two masculines? With the lovers, damn, somebody finna have options. We got the Eight of Wands, Three of Wands, the lovers. So we got the King of Wands and the King of Swords. So you gotta have a fire sign and the air sign. So somebody has an Aries, Leo, Sag, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius to choose from with the Four of Wands. Both of these people could be wanting like a marriage or commitment with somebody. Like if two people could see somebody as like marriage material or something like that. Like these lovers. I'm getting like two different lovers and it's your choice. Like somebody has two people who, damn, like somebody could have like options. Damn, I'm seeing a third masculine here. Somebody got options. But you have a certain masculine too that's like in a feelings. Like a, a could be a water sign. Like this could be who was dealing with certain things that they maybe didn't open up to you about. Or somebody definitely could have been like juggling at one point or maybe undecided about what they wanted. Like somebody regrets all of that. And now this person is worried again about who you're investing in now. Um, if you're happy. And it's like somebody is like in a mental prison. Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, the death card. If, if things are truly over with you, because possibly this person couldn't pick themselves up or change in enough time. We have an Emperor here with the High Priestess, Aries, Pisces energy here. So for some of you, you got people that know that they were toxic or they were in, in a very low vibrational toxic energy when they were in your life or they possibly couldn't give you what you were wanting. So I'm hearing like they don't really blame you for moving forward. I feel like it's something that's being revealed. Um, Leo, Libra energy here, heavy. Somebody's worried about like 
the judgment call. Again, I, I am getting that somebody's heavily worrying if like you're still single or if you're single or how long you're going to be single. Because somebody could feel like this is like time is running out or you're coming off as like being very balanced. But I do see somebody feels like you got a lot of options. Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords, especially like it's, it's something about you seeing through illusions or like somebody's illusions, somebody's lies or something like that. And somebody could feel like now you're exploring your options or like you're no longer taking what they say seriously. Again, it's something about you, like you, you not being confused about somebody no more, possibly even about like a, a past situation or a betrayal that maybe you had a hard time walking away from. I feel like you're rejecting that now, especially if it was toxic, Capricorn energy, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, like somebody was lying or deceptive. And they were trying to keep this head in or like it was just a loop that you could have been going through with somebody. You could be an air sign or like you're just cutting somebody off. You're seeing something clearly like you're no longer stuck. You're no longer. I heard like you're not weak in the knees no more or something like that. Like, yeah, you can see something for what it is. You realize you recognize it was putting you in a low vibrational energy or cycle that it's like you know that you were deserving of more. Some of you are going to choose to leave this person out in the cold and, and, and close the door out on this person for good. You could be a Pisces or Aries. So some of you guys can have a Pisces or Aries coming towards you. Let's see what's going on in this dude. Some of y'all definitely could have with judgment. Some of y'all could be choosing to either leave an Aries alone or a Pisces. Or your intuition could have told you to leave somebody alone. That was like an Aries or or it's an it's a Aries in y'all energy. Yeah, we got the Ten of Cups. So some of y'all do have an Aries that wants to come towards you with judgment out here. This person could want to bring you judgment. It's just an emperor. This could be somebody who, this could be that new person for some of y'all. Let me see what's going on with this emperor. This person could be dealing with some type of inner battle with the magician here. This person could be dealing with some form of like manipulation themselves, or I don't know if this person was the manipulator. Somebody definitely could have been um somebody could have been breadcrumbing a, a union that they were in or like that they were given to at one point. Because they were waiting on you or like they're wanting to come towards you. Like somebody could be pulling back from somebody else. Because like if somebody wants to be successful with you. Somebody may even want to like take you out or take you on like a day night and pursue you. Knight of Cups. Like somebody wants to take action on someone else to the point where they could even be like releasing like another person in their life. Um, I feel like this is the newer energy is what I'm getting. With the lovers, Gemini energy. So it could be an Aries or a Gemini. With the sun, a Leo. Especially if like you do saw somebody wants to work towards something or like work work out a situation. Again, for some of you guys, you are coming out as this Empress Eight of Wands. You're gonna have people wanting to communicate with you. I do feel that you have people in the energy of like regretting not treating you right, regretting on being so impulsive when it came to you or moving too fast and not being patient enough or not like it's something about people moving ace of swords like yeah people could have been very impulsive with you before they even gave you like a chance or like before they even trying to change heavy like and i feel like people are realizing now that like you two of cups like damn i really wanted a relationship with this person or they would have been a great option they would have been a great partner or and for some of you it's like a water sign a pisces cancer scorpio and this person is still like very much so passionate about you or something like that a cancer and now they feel very betrayed or like this person could just feel like they, they've been in a very dark spot since like they betrayed you as karma though a cancer and this person could feel like the star like literally you've been moving forward ever since the healing like they love how you kept going or like you were shining every time they look at you you're doing something new you're you're elevating like somebody really likes that about you uh yeah something about an ending and like you grew like you grew past the ending and this person feels like maybe they stayed the steep look at the death you transform baby and somebody feels like they didn't or like they're having a very hard time like transforming how you did and yeah, somebody could be slightly a little bitter over this too. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like, oh, a little bitter or like, but proud of to see that you're moving forward and doing better, but also kind of bitter to see that it's without them type of energy. A Pisces, a Cancer, a Cancer. I'm telling y'all, for somebody, I'm hearing Cancer. Um, but I'm um, close this reading out. I see you guys seeing things very clear now. You guys are not staying stuck in situations that, um, again, for whatever reasons slow you down this will of fortune I mean, i'm not gonna lie for some of you it will slow down due to the situation that you were holding on heavy double pisces energy i see that your ancestors were or your guys were actually moving you towards a new passionate beginning that you're going to be very excited about it's going to be more um chemistry more fun more excitement um just things picking back up for you with that fire energy that's also about momentum things moving fast things speeding up um with the six of swords that spiritual guidance i feel like you guys are being spiritually guided you could be an aquarius into a new situation the two calmer waters um that's something that is not going to be draining 
And for some of you, this could come as like a shock or a surprise. I heard divine intervention. It's going to be a situation for some of y'all because you weren't trying to let this person go or this, inner, you know, this energy to the point where source is kind of going to force an ending is what I'm getting. Um, so whether you wanted to or not, like somebody could be like seeing or moving forward and focusing on themselves. And it's going to have somebody worried that like you're independent or like you're, you're branching out by yourself or like, again, you're just moving independently. Um, and I do feel with the hermit card and the four swords is because you're actually being called to heal. And I'm not going to lie for some of y'all. That's only when somebody else is going to like follow suit because it's like, you could have been enabling somebody or like you were just coddling like this energy. And it's like somebody they did, they weren't doing what they just wasn't growing. And it took you like to heal and pulling your energy back. And somebody views you as being like very balanced to the point where it's going to make them want to get on that path with you. And you can't make nobody do look with the ace of cups. Cause they're, like somebody's feelings gonna be growing for you to see that like yeah you didn't let their burdens or their issues stop you you kept going it's like they're gonna want more for themselves or they're gonna stay stuck you know what i'm saying so whether they can they can love you at the end of the day but they can also end up heartbroken if they don't do the work to change so if somebody new coming in may have somebody else kind of like heartbroken because again they're seeing that you not look with self-worth purge ego you're not letting somebody stuck in like their old shadow side or their ego hold you back because you love yourself. Your self-worth is teaching someone else to love themselves too. We got grace, boundaries, pride. And this is your own, it's your own self-love and self-worth that's helping you to create these boundaries. And they're recognizing that as you purge this energy from your life. Some of y'all need to do a cleanse. Again, for some of y'all, y'all ego was helping to hold it, holding on to the situation of this person because you didn't want to give up on them. That, that was ego. Who are you? The Messiah? Like what? It's something about your own like um insecurities or like conditionings for some of y'all that was this person like they had to deal battle with their own insecurities they felt like they were never good enough for you or anything good to happen in their life so it's like they were sabotaging themselves and for others of you you didn't know you were being protected but it's like this is why source could have been telling you like let that go with innocence like you're very innocent and pure-hearted your manifestations are coming in um but for many of you this was like a test it was like the forbidden fruit or you were biting the fruit with the lovers so for some of you, yeah, dependency. This person was very dependent on your energy. I'm telling you, you have very divine energy. It was like you were this person. It's like, what did, what did ever tell Bella? You're like my own personal brand of heroin. She was like, you know what? <laughs> but he was basically trying to say, like, you like a drug to me. Like, everything about you was like, it, it invites me in. And I thought this is this person. Like, the more y'all around them, they were like, they were like getting high off your energy. The whole time, you over there getting drained. And they over there like, I ain't never felt so good in my damn life. And you like, damn, what the fuck is going on? Like, you on your last bro. It's because they were their attachments were like attaching to you or like their toxicities, their addictions, their codependencies, and you are not like that. I'm here. You were not in that energy, and they were trying to fill their voids by like with you through your energy, through your light, through like what you brought into their life, the healing, the the happiness. But it's like this person could have been like basing their happiness on you. Like if if you guys had an argument, if you were went through something, like oh well, I'm only doing this because you know you made me sad, or I'm only doing this because you know you whatever their shadow. Like this person had to deal with their shadow, but they could have been blaming a lot of it on you. I don't, I don't only I only go back to the streets. I only only deal with the mother women when we are right, you know i told you you gotta stop doing that you know otherwise I'm, I'm just you know excuses excuses and they could have been trying to put that on you but this is somebody who struggled with temptations before they even met you and they could have like a, a addiction spirit in their family or something like that or i don't know this person needs to get it together though um they have impulse control issues and they could have betrayed you due to that or some type of like dark night of the soul that they're going through traumas that's coming up that they need to they need to hurry up and go ahead and do it i ain't gonna say hurry up because their healing is their healing, which is why Source is telling you, go ahead and focus on your healing, which is what your intuition for some of you is telling you to do. Okay, so for some of you guys with love and cycles, you were going in the cycle with this person. I mean, you may love this person, but it's like the cycle wasn't fun for you. I do feel like there's going to be a new cycle in love if you're wanting it coming in. For some of you, it's like you're accepting this love from Source. You're not focused on like romantic love, but I, hey, union is here. So some of y'all is like supposed to tell you to release this because you're like, look what choice. So some of y'all, you could choose to stay stuck in something that was codependent with somebody that it's like they were dragging you down. They were putting you in their energy of like, uh, you not supposed to be in that energy. You were supposed to be ascending and like healing and aligning with a new love. Because for some of y'all, it's going to be a choice that you got to make to stay or not to stay, to move on to the new or the old. And it's like, I feel like you should want the new with joy because it's going to be like, yeah, you're going to be very happy that you didn't allow yourself to stay stuck. Again, it's like people-pleasing energy. Like, what about you? Who's choosing you? Who's chasing you? And this person is going through what they're going through. But, like, are they still being cognizant of your feelings and what you're dealing with? And, like, no. Because they don't have enough. I'm hearing. Like, they can only, they go, they only focus on what they're focusing on right now and what they're going through. And it's like they're going to start giving you the short end of the stick. So, choose you. With stability here, yeah. Somebody could be getting, like, a new home or some type of... Um, energy of security and safety is coming in i feel like through this new person is what i'm getting they're going to be very very safe 
They're going to make you feel... This person is going to make you feel very secure. This person is going to make you feel very, again, safe. And uh, some of you guys allow this to happen. You could have been very closed off because you were holding on to this past connection. And it's going to be filled with abundance. Okay? So this person was like feeding their habits. They ain't had no money. They had no, like this person. This new person is going to be different. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. I'm not saying you got to judge this past person for, and again, the future. This comes in the future. But you have to release the past. So like maybe what you're holding on to currently <laughs> with commitment this commitment comes in the future for some of y'all i'm not gonna lie you want to get this commitment with explore but you're being told to explore your options for some of y'all get out there more go out more stop seeing in the house um i'm gonna meet my person if i'm in the house all the time girl well, hey just go explore start traveling go out more plan things have more fun be more adventurous something about like a journey or something like that or again you need to explore your options don't put all your eggs in one basket because i feel like it's more coming with abundance here and again individuality like somebody is going to be able to recognize your individuality divine feminine and they're going to love you for it they're going to love what you have to give and not only that but they're going to be able to receive it and give it back to you this is somebody who could have had a problem with being receptive or open or giving back or equally yoked or something like that but you're going to have somebody that they're going to pour into you the same way you pour into them and they're going to respect your individuality your uniqueness they're going to find you to be very perfect in the way that you are they're not going to make you feel bad because the things that they were dealing with with communication and for some of y'all y'all going to heal from here mm, you're going to heal this person going to help y'all heal this new person i heard sexual healing too but for some of y'all this new person you're going to hear from them and that could be like why you have a choice to make y'all you're going to hear from somebody um that really some of y'all listen, we got the past with completion. Y'all done with this past person or like sources telling you you've completed the cycle. I heard the lesson or the assignment is over. The healers have to know when the assignment is complete. So you are a healer and the assignment is complete. You've done all you can do. It's above you now. Give us, give us a source. Give us a God. It's above you now. So you were trying to hold on to somebody possibly because you felt like you were supposed to heal them, help them. It's above you now. Let them help themselves with protect, protect, protection. They got guys just like you got guys, okay? Let them let their spirit guides guide them, okay? Let their spirit guides wade them in the water like yours do you. You move on on, okay? With dreams here. Because some of y'all, you got other dreams and other shit to focus on right now. Or like your dreams could be telling you something or someone new is coming in. Pay attention to your dreams. Because I feel like, yeah, we got messages and dreams, visions. Like, yeah, some of y'all getting messages of uh, yeah, this new person or like things that are to come in for you. Or sources just telling you it's time to like align with your dreams. And I do feel like whatever this energy that you were focusing on. Um, yeah, it's time to release that energy. Um... Especially because for some of y'all, you are very confused. Again, with this individuality energy, somebody's going to love you down because you really, really stand out to this person. You're going to be exactly what this person feels like they've been wanting or needing. I'm here to just be your authentic self at this time, Divine Feminine. This is the last card out here with truth. Because your truth is going to help you to come into alignment with exactly who's meant for you. You won't have to dim your light or make yourself uh, less than who you are. Or like, I don't know. Somebody could even feel like they're being guided towards you. But I just feel like your truth and you standing in your truth is going to help you to align or attract this person in towards you, Divine Feminine. Okay, like your individuality is beautiful from your head to your toe, inside and out. I'm hearing like you are rare. You are very unique. Somebody's name could be unique. I'm hearing even like from somebody's like body shape. Like it's something about somebody's very different. Um, and the, whoever this next person is, baby, they're going to really, really love and value this about you. And they would not treat you how somebody else treated you in the past, even though like I do get it was different reasons or factors that played into that. But this is why source is saying, go ahead and purge this shadow cycle or this element or this person with self-worth and lovers because you got a new lover coming in that's going to mirror your self-love and self-worth and self-value and you've been manifesting this for some of you and it can only come in once you show the universe i'm serious and i'm ready when you holding on you can't fool the universe you still holding on to this past person like oh maybe i could like no 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 that person gonna the uh, right when you let this person go or you like okay i'm serious then another the other person they show up so i'm hearing when you ready the universe will be ready so and that is reading you guys okay um see you guys moving into a more mature energy um moving with your boundaries moving in grace whatever you got to release release it okay just understand that you are wonderfully and perfectly made it doesn't mean that you gave up on somebody because you chose to choose yourself it's just like you know what i'm saying you could still choose to, to love this person um from a distance i'm just getting no matter who they are whether it's a lover a family member a friend an ex or whatever it's just giving now it's time for you to choose you because Again, you what she said, what did he say? He's chasing her, you're chasing him. Who's choosing you? Who's chasing you? So I feel like now it's time for you to choose you. Now it's time for you to chase your dream. But we don't chase, we attract over here as you know, we as, as real empresses or whatever. Um, so it's time for you to choose you, okay? So your manifestations, your desires can chase you or they can be attracted to you, okay? So that's the energy that we're in right now. I feel like divine feminine, you you already understood the assignment and just understand when the assignment is up. 
because stand beyond that is when it becomes karmic okay so i feel like we don't want none of that okay we got new love coming in and this love is going to mirror how we love ourselves so whatever you're showing yourself right now whatever you're doing to show up for your inner child or your higher self or the the love that you're showing yourself or accepting from others this is what you're going to get back so you feel like you're not getting the right type of love maybe you reevaluate how you're showing up for yourself or like you know so that is already you guys like share and subscribe i love you guys so much and i really really believe baby y'all got y'all soulmate coming okay so don't get discouraged about whatever the situation was bigger better is coming okay